Hello everyone, I am Torior and welcome to another one of my Hearts of Iron 4 challenges. Today we're going to play as Italy and reform the Roman Empire. Now this is a relatively easy challenge, but you have been requesting it quite a bit. So um, yeah, sure, I can do that. Ironman mode, historical focuses, regular difficulty, Italy, Ironman 2. So at this point I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to do this, but the question is how and how well. So we start at war with Ethiopia. Um, first let's take care of that. I'm going to send all my troops, that is not necessary, we could win without that, but um, you know, there's no reason not to do that, um, apart from maybe attrition, they'll get more experience and so on. Let's do some civilian factories, then we'll move on to military. As for technologies, I do want to switch over to the superior firepower doctrine from Grand Battle Plan, I just don't really like a Grand Battle Plan. And that trick when you start researching the next level and then immediately switch to the other doctrine doesn't work anymore, they fixed that. As for our military factories, let's forget the tanks, let's forget uh, the motorized and the planes, um, focus on infantry equipment, support equipment and artillery. As for focuses, we are not doing any right now. Okay, I suppose we can unpause now and gather up some political power while we take over Ethiopia. Now, reforming the Roman Empire will require us to take quite a lot of territory. Ethiopia should be surrendering now. Yes, well, that's just an exit. Let's just train lots of infantry divisions, let's prioritize uh, the new ones. Rhineland, we're fine with that, we're going to ally ourselves with Germany. We could take them on first, but uh, I think it's uh, better to just face the allies before we face Germany. And we are about to be ready to start justifying our war goals, and then we'll be able to actually do focuses as well. Um, around 200 points. Okay, that should be enough. In our first move we're going to conquer Yugoslavia, Greece, Romania and Czechoslovakia. So, first, justify on Yugoslavia, justify on Greece, cancel justifying on Yugoslavia, and restart justifying on Yugoslavia. This way they will finish simultaneously and we should be able to avoid allied guarantees. Let's start by getting the extra research start and then we can do these. No new guarantees, that is good news. I'm going to free trade, that is going to require us to buy some resources, however it will give us a very nice tech bonus. I have deployed all my units while green, and this is not very economically viable in terms of equipment production, but it will let me get them all trained to the maximum before we attack. Um, I'm going to make them a classic 7-2 with support artillery. Now, obviously we're going to require a lot more resources to have them at full strength, but that's fine. Let's train all of them and make sure to detach those already trained up to a different army so they don't waste resources unnecessarily. Anti-Commandant Pact. Yes, sure. Our justification is ready. Actually, both our justifications are ready. Crap, I forgot to stop training. Damn it. We're going to be at a disadvantage at the start, but we do need to attack immediately. Okay, well, let's reorganize our armies. Yeah, I should have paid closer attention. I thought we still had like two months until the workers were ready. And I could wait a moment before my guys regained organization, but it would be possible um, to um, have some guarantees happen in the meantime. Well, let's just attack the way we are. They will regain organization soon. Let's make everyone super aggressive and we will be fine. And that is about it. Let's attack. Let's attack Greece. That will call in Romania. And let's attack Yugoslavia, who will call in uh, Czechoslovakia. And that means we can conquer four countries in one go. Here goes. Going quite well. Did you guys get caught at sea before my ships secured the area? Well, that's a pity. Yugoslavia is almost taken over. And there it goes. I need all that territory to form the Roman Empire, so let's just annex it. Now, Romania and Greece. Should we get some extra manpower? Let's get some extra manpower. Mare Nostrum and move on to marines and landing crafts. We will need that later to invade Britain. Let's go down to balance for a while because I can't really break through that easily. Yeah, let's let them, you know, recover a little bit. We have broken through a little bit more. It's time to go aggressive again. Ah, Japan is attacking China. 
Mm, well, that actually mm, could be useful to us if we wanted to expand that, because um, you can easily get communist China this way as a puppet and then have practically infinite manpower from them. Um, but I'm going to focus on Europe in this playthrough. Going into Romania nice. Seems like we were a little bit too slow to take over Czechoslovakia easily. No matter, we'll deal with them after we're done with Romania. Can you rush through into Czechoslovakia? Probably not. How's Greece? Ah, crap. As usual, the order got cancelled. I do dislike when that happens. Let's get an infantry specialist. His bonus is small, but, um, you know, we're mostly using infantry, so it will matter. Oh, and we just beat Romania. Let's take these and puppet the rest. They will give these to the Soviets, but that will happen later on. And we can still get a little bit from their focus tree. So let's do it like that. I think that is everything we need in this region to reform the Roman Empire. Now, we need to bait Czechoslovakia into this area. I am using seven twos, so this first support is the way to go. As our equipment? Not great, but we'll have some more time to build up before we face the Allies. Yes, oh, Greece, right, yes. We need all of their territory, so let's just take all states here. And it's just Czechoslovakia left. Um, Czechoslovakia can be a little bit problematic because Germany will demand Sudetenland. Get back, get back, let them in. We have to make sure they spread evenly. Then cutting in here will be really easy. All right, I think it's time to go. First, let's activate everyone. You guys are going to do it a bit differently. Most of you are going here. Some of you are going to block these guys from reinforcing. And thus, we should be able to cut them off here. And let's see if that works out. And wonderful. They're cut off. Which means they will be unable to get any supplies and these troops here are as good as dead. Now this is still fortified, but we're just about to kill by 80% of their army. So it will be very, very easy. I think I'm going to puppet it because their fortification efforts can prove useful later on when we have to fight Germany. And we will have to fight Germany. We need Austrian territory. It's tricky whether we should take Czechoslovakia directly or not. Um, I think we'll be better off with them as a puppet. However, um, their industry is very powerful and it would make a great addition to our forces. Uh, let's get a war industrialist. Also watch Hungary closely, because once they turn fascist we can pretty much conquer them without any repercussions. And if you're wondering why the Allies are not helping them, it's all in the timing. Uh, pay attention to how and when I declare the wars. Also, I have not yet joined uh, the Axis. And... no, oh, that was not enough. Take Brno. And that's enough for Czechoslovakia. Now, I don't actually need any of this territory for the Roman Empire, so to keep my borders neat and tidy, I'm actually going to just puppet them. That means we'll have to be vigilant regarding Germany. Also, let's make sure we join their faction. Germany has done demand Sudetenland. We are going to uh, refuse, but let's uh, let's wait a little bit. They won't be able to attack if they have a lot of troops in their territory. They do have one troop in their territory at the moment. I need to delay this a bit. Maybe they'll get more. Okay. Poland joined allies. I'm fine with that. Okay, now I'm going to refuse this and slow the game down. This is going to throw me out of the Axis. I have been thrown out of the faction. However, they have not attacked us yet. They have troops in uh, the Czech territories, so they can't. But I can rejoin their faction because they still like me and they will be unable to attack me afterwards. So, this way we have prevented them from claiming Sudetenland. Since we will be fighting allies, I will want to invade Poland as well. Albanian occupation done. Hopefully Zog will submit. Okay, Albania yields. Wonderful. 146 factories so far, producing tons of artillery and support equipment. Molotov Ribbentrop is done. And now they're doing Danzig War. Okay, we won't have time to attack Hungary in the nearest uh, future. You guys will be going after Poland instead. We're pretty much ready to join Germany in the attack on Poland and the UK and France. But I need to move my fleet out here. Okay, can I move you over there now? Because I will need them in Northern France or Germany. Okay, okay, we have them over in this area, some of them. I have set your home base as German. 
territory. Well, perhaps once I take France, this will be available. The important bit is that we are through uh, here. And they have declared war on Poland. I'd like to join your war. You don't need me to. Okay, how about when you are fighting Britain as well? Okay, now you do need me to. Wonderful. Let's join your war and invade France. Also, I'm going to call in my puppets so we can move into Poland as well. Yes, they're calling everyone in. That's fine. Oh, and we are actually here. So since we are here, can I get you over to one of these areas? No, let's, let's just hold them where, where they are. This is not, not a problem at the moment. We're going to put them in port as soon as we acquire one in the area. The important bit is that we get France, not Germany. How's Poland? Oh, we got lots of Poland as well. Well, this is all going to go to the Soviets, almost all of it. Get me Vichy. Go for Paris. France has capitulated and we got most of it. Wonderful. Now, it's time to prepare our invasion of Britain. Our current naval technology lets us deploy 50 simultaneous units on a naval assault. So what we're going to do is prepare five, ten unit armies and leave the rest of those troops to invade the Benelux. Invasions are prepared. You guys can launch whenever you're ready, but for now let's just keep them as they are. And you are going to lead an assault on the Benelux countries. Everyone, as always, be super aggressive. Let's do computing machines. That will give us great technological development. And yeah, you guys get in position. Hmm, did Luxembourg take German territory? Good job. Luxembourg capitulated. Okay. Can I get you guys to a port? Somewhere in here. So we can repair safely. Yes, I can. Good. You're going to be dominating the English Channel for me in a moment. But first we need to prepare. The Netherlands have been called in. How about Belgium? I'm more interested in Belgium because it's next to me. Oh, wonderful. Okay, good. Get in there. And once you're done, move over here. Next order of business is we need to beat up the British quickly. How's our naval construction going? We are making tons of submarines, which is great because they count as numbers for naval domination. Are you guys ready? It seems like yes, you are. How many ships do they have? 126. Whoa, that's bad. I think we're fine. We can we can assign our troops there. Um, let's do convoy protection on these two. This is going to be enough to launch my invasions. Seems like it. It's imperative that my convoys do not encounter the British Navy, so we need to have it, you know, under control. Okay, some of you have landed. Wonderful, wonderful. Which one is that? Let's make sure to secure some ports for us. And another one has landed. Wonderful. You also make sure to secure some ports for us. And the third one. Advance, advance. Fall of London. That was quick. Everyone go to Scotland. They are not well prepared for an invasion of this magnitude. It is about to be done. All right, we're about to win the Second World War. The United Kingdom has capitulated and I have first pick. This could have all been mine. I'm going to be fighting the Germans soon anyway, so it doesn't matter that much. No allies in sight. Time to expand greedily. Let's do Hungary next and Bulgaria. I kind of screwed up here because I thought they would be unable to take any land directly and they weren't, but suddenly they created a French puppet. I suppose I could have expected that. Did get a few new puppets I can use for manpower. Got Raj, got Vietnam, Khmer, Malaya, East Indies and so on. Interesting, Hungary is guaranteed by Australia. How's Australia a thing? God damn it. Don't you have to sail there? Really? Oh, interesting. Hungary attacked me. Or more uh, appropriately, they attacked the Bohemian Empire. That's actually great news because they're not guaranteed or anything. Great. I didn't really want to fight Australia. Not because that wouldn't be very easy, because I don't want to go all the way up there. Or down there. Depends how you look at it. Hungary, take that. And pop up the rest. Let's do, hmm, Switzerland or Turkey? I suppose Turkey. And advanced computing machine, 5% research boost. What if Republican Spain will join the common turn and be aided by the Soviets? Justification complete. There we go. Let's start another one. Uh, Switzerland. And that deals with Bulgaria. Ah, justification complete. Here you go. 
that'll deal with Turkey, and our next justification should be Iraq, we need that as well. As I said, won't take long. And that deals with Turkey. All states, please. Uh, let's uh, refuse this pact. My justification for Switzerland is complete. Let's attack. The Soviets have stolen Bessarabia for, from Romania. Uh, that's fine, we don't really have a quarrel with the Soviets unless they join with Spain. And that deals with Switzerland. Iraq, here we go. And now it's time to start justifying on Spain, which may or may not um, join at the common turn once we do that. Take everything, please. I almost forgot I was supposed to be justifying a simultaneous war goal against Portugal as well. Let's do that too. There's the war goal. Well, let's go. I also stationed some troops down here in Gibraltar. Um, their use will depend on whether they join the common turn, because if they do, then I'm going to call the Germans too. And if we have some trouble um, going through the mountains, which I don't think we will have. They did join the common turn. Okay, in that case... Let's call everyone in. And move into the Soviet Union too. So, how's Spain? Fine. As you can see, we are breaking through quite easily. So, Spain does not have much time left. As for the Soviet Union, uh, well, with German help, we are steadily gaining ground. And that's about time. Spain has capitulated. Wonderful. Now, time for Portugal. The United States joined allies. Not my problem. And Hungary. Seriously. This is weird. Uh, let's attack. Mm, I suspect they will join the Comintern. Yes. Not a problem. Portugal has capitulated. Going quite well. And smoothly was our participation. 72%. And we're almost in Moscow. A pity, really. I didn't want to invade the Soviet Union. But they did have to ally with Japan. Uh, sorry, uh, with Spain, for some reason. Uh, they wanted a piece of me, so here it comes. Japan attacked me. Bloody hell. Leningrad taken. And the Soviets have capitulated. Wonderful. So, what I need is Spanish and Portuguese territory. Okay, take all states from... Portugal. Yeah, I can release stuff later if I want to. And take all states from you. Now, I don't need anything from the Soviets. And where's Romania? Let's not forget Romania. Not sure. I think I called them. They didn't agree. Oh, well. You didn't come to the war. You're not getting your territory back. Sorry. Okay. And the turn. Done. Here's the Russian Empire. Can I get out of the Axis? Yes, I can. Okay. So let's not bother about Japan. Goodbye, Germany. We are ready to beat up Germany. Orders are set up. Now we just need our troops to get in position. It's going to take a while because they're coming from all over the world. And then we can attack. Now we're going to ignore Japan for now. What they can do is get like halfway into Russia. We don't need to deal with that. I think we can start justifying the war goal now. Everyone super aggressive. Everyone ready. War goal is ready. We have two options now. We can... Uh, re-enter the faction for a moment so they would abandon uh, the, uh, the, the, the border and we would have an easier time getting into there or we can just attack and I'm feeling pretty confident with the strength of our army so let's ignore that and just attack goodbye Germany hopefully declare war everyone has been called in everyone has joined looking good all across the board Germany can defend a bit, however, uh, when we take all that territory, the armies will be repurposed to strengthen our attack on Germany itself. Looks like there's nothing to worry about. This whole army group is now free. Let's reassign them. The Germans have landed a naval invasion in our territory, seriously. <laughs> okay. Did not expect that, or maybe they just had troops stationed there. I'll deal with that immediately. This is all caused by one runaway tank. I'm chasing it, but it's very fast. We can now realize Roman ambitions. We can even do it at war. So, um, yeah, I suppose there's no reason not to. That will give us cores everywhere and it will be easier to keep the borders tidy. So, um, yeah, let's go. Let's do it now and then we'll finish off the Germans. Realize Roman ambitions. There you go. Imperium Romanum. Now, let's finish off the Germans, shall we? 
our manpower is going to be nicer now. 10 million. Yes, rise of Rome. And look, Augustus Mussolini truly a god amongst men. Now, let's continue. Munich and Frankfurt still to take. Berlin is ours. Rome has conquered. Now, to make everything look neat and tidy, and resemble Rome as much as possible, I'm going to tweak the borders a bit. Now, we're supposed to take Tyrol. But apart from that, I'm going to leave Germany as a puppet. Yeah, let's take all our cores, because they're part of rebuilding Rome. And I think that is all of them. Let's make some client states of Rome. As many as possible. Rome thrives on that. Russia is taking its cores on its own. Sure, you do that. End the turn. Whoops. Something went wrong here. It doesn't seem to want to fix itself. I didn't need to restart the game. Uh, not sure where my map went. Anyway, this is it. Rome reborn. Let's tweak the borders a little more to make it look even more neat and tidy. That's all I can do without jeopardizing our core territories. Anyway, looks good, doesn't it? We are Rome reborn, ruled by Augustus Mussolini, and we have tons of everything and how the world is our puppets. So if we wanted to continue this to a world conquest from where we're at now, it would be child's play and I'm not gonna do that because it would be pretty boring since we are clearly the most powerful nation in the world owning, well, all of that and having Germany, Russia and everyone in here as puppets. That's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to let me know in the comments what you liked and disliked about the video, as well as suggest the next challenge I should do. The link is in the description. A link to a playlist containing all these challenges, as well as my Patreon if you want to tip me. So, that's it for today. Thank you for watching, I'll see you soon. Goodbye.